Hey everyone, it's Daniel Chang with VintageMagic.com and uh, I'm really excited to show you guys uh, kind of what a LuxCon's all about. Uh, it's kind of a point of view camera shot. Uh, today is Friday. Um, it is the, uh, I think LuxCon begins on Wednesday. It's a five day show. So today is the last day of the main show artists. Uh, what I want to do is just go through all of the main show with you as if you're walking into a LuxCon so you can get that experience and uh, check it all out. So let's uh, check out the art and the artists and uh, also be sure to watch our video for the weekend salon uh, which runs Saturday and Sunday and also tonight we'll do uh, a video of the showcase show which is basically the uh, Friday and Saturday night event at the Holiday Inn. So let's take a look guys. Hold on. Jeff, are you full of Bobby? It's Chef Migas, everybody. <laughs> Jeff, are you excited about being at LuxCon? Absolutely, man. It's the, big, it's, it's the place to be. So, Je so Jeff is the... By the way, we're doing a video for our, our fans. So you're going to be at the Showcase Show tonight, right? I am. Oh, great. So, guys, check it out. If you guys are here Friday, Saturday, yep. check out Jeff's work. It's lots of great stuff. And uh, Jeff's just going to just visit. We're going to walk over there, too, right? Let's sure. do it. Yeah. So you've been doing good? Yeah, things yeah. have been fine. Yeah. Life's good, huh? How, did you drive or did you? Yeah, I drive. Fly. I drive. I was here on uh, Wednesday night. Wednesday night. All right, Jeff, we'll catch up with you soon. You bet. All right, guys, so if you register, so Jeff's going to register get his badge, right? No, I'm good. I'll start to go. Oh, he's VIP. <laughs> All right, Jeff, I'll see you tonight, okay? I'll see you in a little bit. This is the registration booth. How's it going, guys? Good. We got these cool programs. <laughs> these <cool> programs. <laughs> kind of showcase. I got five of those. For you. Oh yeah, great. Oh yeah, we're doing a little bit of. Hey, Patrick. Patrick Wil Wilshire, Wilshire is the uh, the founder of the LuxCon. We're just doing a little video for everyone. So, so Patrick, just uh, real quick. Uh, this is this is uh, how many years? Eight, eight times running, right? Yep. This will be. Uh, this is IX8. Okay, so so t is there something uh, you want to share with people that uh, you haven't been to the show before? What what they're missing out on, so they well, can. Well, you know, if you haven't been to the show and you have any interest in imagined park, fantasy, science fiction, um, it's 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 really a sign. Um, there's more original, traditional media, imaginative artwork at this show than there is anywhere else in the world in a single place. And so, when you come in here, you have the opportunity to really see the originals of a lot of work that in most cases you only ever get the chance to view in reproduction um, or if they're personal works and you don't get the chance to see them at all. Right. And so it's a really unique experience and not only is the artwork here, the artists are all here with it. Uh, we have, there's no mail-in art, there's no, every artist is here. So right. you have the chance to not only see the work but also talk with the artists that created it. So a couple of questions. So you changed it to IX. What, tell everybody why you changed to IX, not from a LuxCon. Well, originally LuxCon was accurate. It was kind of a, a, an amalgam of illustration and illustration convention. Um, but as time has gone on, the amount of work in the show that's actually illustration, uh, as opposed to you know, personal works, gallery works, private commissions, has shrunk. And so mm. the majority of what's here in the show at this point is not illustration. Um, and so we thought, well, that's not really accurate anymore. And it's not really a con in the sense of, of people that go to con, San Diego Comic Con, Dragon Con, Jack Con. You know, it's not really a con. It really is more of a celebration. Um, and, and so we thought, well, that wasn't really very accurate either. Uh, so we thought that IX was simple, it was workable, it still connected with the people that we used to. You know, abbreviating it that way anyway. Right. Um, but it it, it's, it doesn't give that kind of old connotation. The uh, the old kind of name. Awesome. And then the next question is the uh, location. So next year, this is at the Allentown Art Museum um, in downtown Allentown. Next year, it's going to be in Reading. Yes. Okay, Reading, Pennsylvania, guys. So. 2016 and onward. Uh, so talk about this location. Talk about what. Uh, talk about what you're excited about. Uh, what's going on there? Well, Reading is. And Reading will be utilizing. Uh, <laughs> To begin with, two venues. Uh, the first is the Gogglebox Center for the Arts, uh, which is the largest community arts center in the country. Uh, Gogglebox is 144,000 square feet. Uh, it's built in an old safety glass manufacturing plant, and it's an entire city block. 
Wow. Um, and it is full of you know artist studios, uh, workspaces, gallery spaces, uh, and so we'll be able to put the entire show as it exists. Expand it if we want, give the artists more space because we're all in this venue. Right. Um, in addition to the demos, the lectures, and all of this, we can put them all in the same place. Um, and then we'll be using uh, a brand new hotel that's opening in Reading this December, in fact. Uh, brand new um, double trees by Hilton uh, Convention Center that is has an additional 26,000 square feet of exhibit space. Wow. Um, so our showcase event which takes place at our show hotel, Friday and Saturday evenings will take place there. Um, and I imagine beyond 2016, there will be more things that will be taking place there as well because we have so much space to play with. Exactly. Well, all right, guys. Well, Patrick, thanks again. That was just a total random. I just got, you just uh, had to stay, stay out there out of nowhere. So we're, we're just going to walk through the show. And Patrick's exactly right. What the, the thing is, this show is going to be very intimate right now. It's a very intimate. It's multi levels. But at the Reading location, it's going to be more of a larger convention space. It's a lot, it's a lot more open. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to be expecting some great things there. All right, guys. Well, let's walk it through. Thanks, Patrick. Thank All you. right. Thanks again, Patrick. Yep. All right. So that was uh, that was exciting. We met a magic artist, and we also saw a uh, founder of AluxCon. So this is the sign here. So if you look carefully, obviously, this upstairs is the main show. Downstairs is the weekend. So tomorrow we'll focus on the weekend show. And this is the Allentown Museum. It's kind of a, a little bit of a walk. Now, for those of you who have not been to a LuxCon before, um, it's just going through the Philadelphia airport. Um, basically, it's, uh, it's a pretty direct flight for most areas, so it's an easy direct flight. And you would drive about an hour, hour and a half to Allentown. And uh, since they're changing the Reading, it's about the same distance. So we'll just go, uh, we'll go this way first because it kind of stops here. Let's just show you some of the art. That's Richard Hescox. That's Omar Ryan. Yeah, this is just an incredible display of works from many different illustrators and artists around the world. Linda Adair. I think this is a gallery. Uh, no, no, this is, uh, I'm sorry. This is, uh, they use this as the Allentown Museum Gallery, so when this is not uh, used, they have other works and such. This is Michael Hayes. He's uh, an incredible artist. I believe he just won a Chesley Award for unpublished color work. A gentleman here named Gary. Oh, we're doing videos. Oh, hi. Yeah, we're on video. Hi, Aaron. Aaron Miller's gonna be here. No, I'm just doing a video of the whole experience. So, hey, Chris, Ron, Chris, Ron, and Aaron Miller, Let's hang out. No, for people. People on the uh, YouTube, you know, whoever uh, has never been to a LuxCon, you know. So yeah, yes. Yeah, so who are you guys? I'm just kidding. Chris Ron, fancy artist. Oh, he's leaving. Oh what? <laughs> oh, you're doing the. Oh, oh. Aaron Miller, everybody. Aaron, you're gonna be the showcase show, right? Right. Tonight. So guys, if you guys, so we're gonna do the main show video right now. But if you guys are going to the showcase, or if you guys want to look at some of Aaron's art, check him out online. Aaron's just hanging out with Jim Pelvek. Pelvek? Pelvek from Chicago, right? Jim's art is very, very, very cool. Very unique, guys. So a lot of these works are not magic, right, guys? You guys have a lot of personal works. And, you know, so, guys, it's not just magic work. It's personal work. Um, you know, it's um, some book cover work. Is he doing a podcast? Yeah, I'm doing, like, a YouTube video for him. It's very raw, very raw. <laughs> now, what's cool about LuxCon is every year they have four commissioned pieces um, that they have for their program. 
And I believe last last uh, last year or so, um, Jim was on one of the book, uh, one of the four commissioned pieces. So that was really cool. Vince Natali. Yeah, so I, I don't know what the I don't know what the count here is, but I think there's at least uh, forty plus magic artists, and as you can tell, you'll see there's a lot of personal work here. I think this is Jeff Easley. Yep, Jeff Easley is a fantasy artist who has did some magic. I believe he did TSR and has a really really iconic. Artists. It's Chris Ron who ventured away. We all know Chris Ron. He is uh, another magic artist. I really enjoy this one. Oops. This is uh, I think it's a play map for G for uh, Grand Prix they commissioned privately. It's uh, Angel kind of a samurai armor. Hey Chris. Artist Chris Moore. Hi Chris. Uh, Ryan Pancoast. Hey guys, we're just doing a video. Hey, Ryan, Matt Stewart. Ryan Pancoast. Hey, good guys. This is kind of a YouTube video for all the people that have never been to a LuxCon before. Yeah, so we're just bumping a magic artist all over the place. How, uh, how do you guys like the show? Yeah. Best show of the year. Best show of the year. Yeah. All right, great. So, what's the number one reason why people should come visit? Original art. The people, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's like the biggest uh, biggest selection of it out there, right? Yeah, it, out there. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, Ryan here has a lot of great works, and none of them are magic, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying, guys. You guys are missing out on the the personal works here. Magic next year. Mag uh, Ryan's hinted he's done some magic pieces he won't tell us about. So Ryan's very inspired by kind of the. Uh, the nature, right? Yeah, he loves that. Very beautiful lighting. The moment of hunting. Hunting. Uh, Ryan's painted some stuff here. Look at Check this out. I like how they're doing here. They're painting their signs. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Chris Ron. I think, yeah, Chris Ron. How about you, Matt? Do you have a painted sign? No. no. What happened? I just haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> I don't find my name inspiring. Uh, <laughs> Matt Stewart. Sounds like a president of the United States or something. Matt Stewart. President of the United States, Matt Stewart. All right, we all know this guy. Actually, let's go. He's over there first. This is Matt's section. There's some magic pieces. This is a commission that he did for a client. It's like a, I think it's part of a book the client was creating. It's really big. I mean, it's like four feet, four feet. Six. I think it's like 40 by six. No, it's pretty big. Now, this is what I'm really excited about. Look at all these pieces he's doing. It's created that is beyond magic. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this one right here is, uh, is I think this piece is incredible. Incredible. It's called the Swamp Book cover. Now Mark Poole. Mark Poole is a vintage magic artist. He's on our website as a vintage magic artist. He has great personal works. Now, I know you guys are familiar with his like old magic cards, but look at what he's doing today. It's incredible. <laughs> this piece right here is, oh, no problem. 
is the recalling. Now, I don't know if you guys can notice this, but there's something very special about this piece. This is probably the only part of the painting that reckon is uh, resembling the original ancestral recall of the Mayan temple, but in detail. The painting itself really has nothing to do with the ancestral recall. It's about, you know, to me, it's about a journey into your past, to the future. The life, you know, the life journey is continuous. I really, really like that. <laughs> this is uh, Doring Vallejo. Oh, Doring, you're completely. Oh, you. He's doing these cool sketches. I'm doing a video, Doring. So I look. Wow. She came out. Good cool. job, Dorian. Oh, thanks. thanks. Thanks, man. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Great. That's kind of really good. Yeah, yeah. I went to lunch, and and it, <laughs> you're still working on it. <laughs> that's awesome. You know, and it's still, it's such a quick drawing. I think we were drawing together. That's why. Yeah, that's great. You're gonna let me draw you, right? Well, yeah, soon, soon. Right. Yeah, Dorian's gonna draw. So yeah, Dorian has a new book, right? I'm gonna, I'll take a little video of your book. Oh, sorry. Yeah, check this out, guys. Dorian Vallejo is Boris Vallejo son and he has his new book out called drawings inspired by life it's a great book guys you can get it on his website and dorian's art is absolutely in a way i was in a way it's uh puzzling and very very much a journey his art is incredible i mean here we're just saying Oh, yes. Thanks, Soren. Uh -huh. This is a painting by Mark Poole. He is an unpublished Chesley uh, Award uh, nominee for 2014. Or 15, I believe. And it's called Omens. So this is the main hallway. So it's kind of uh, interesting. There's like three corridors. This is the main show. This is Stephen Hickman. And this is one of the pieces that was created. This long one right here in the middle of the lady and the scenery and lightning and stuff. This one right here is a uh, commission piece by Luxor. That's one of the four of the show. This is the wonderful Mark Harrison. Now, I'm going to have to back up because this piece is so big. Grand, it's amazing. This is uh, David Palumbo. He's an illustrator and fantasy artist, son of Julie Bell. A lot of smaller pieces here. Dave's work is very distinctive. His strokes. Very awesome. I think that's the only magic piece here. This personal work is incredible. <laughs> hey, Omar. Hey, Omar. Yeah. I'm doing a video. Hey, how's it going? We just passed by your section. Yeah. <laughs> Omar's from uh, where? Where in the East Coast? Martha's Vineyard. Okay. Great. The yeah, Idol. Great. Yeah. Now, are you doing children's books and stuff? Mm, no. No. I'm mostly doing uh, personal work for collectors. There you go, guys. If you're looking for some beautiful yeah, personal works, sure. earlier in the video we were just there. Yeah. Ask Omar yeah. for a co yeah. to, co co I consultation. Yeah. Omar, where do you uh, where are you gonna find like where do people find you? Where? Yeah, your website. Oh, website studioryan.com. Ryan with two Y's. Two Y's. R -A -Y -Y -A two Y Y A N. Also have a Facebook and an Etsy and a blog thing and I don't know what. 
Because that's my wife. She handles all the things. Awesome, guys. You guys should check out Omar's work. Omar did a little bit of magic stuff, but he also does person a lot of more what a personal. Sweet man. Oh, there's a hug. Oh. Oh. Good man. And if you ever need a Scott, he's the man. All right, thanks, Omar. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. We're doing Boris Vallejo and Julie Bell. Boris Vallejo. Boris. Boris is one of the uh, iconic fantasy artists. Of Just incredible work. This is self portrait. Oh, hi. Julie, I'm just doing a video. It's a point of view thing for the website. Yeah, cool. People haven't gone to LuxCon before, you know, just, just yeah. check it all out. Yeah. Well, this is, yeah, here's Julie Bell, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Julie, but Julie's section is uh, over here. Right. Julie, you're doing the uh, a lot of nature work, right? Yes. Yeah, talk about your nature work. What's what's going on with that? Well, uh, That's I mean, it's focusing a lot on animals. Uh, wolves kind of got the whole thing started for me. Uh, and it's sort of going into the direction of horses and wolves and bison and lions those are kind of my main things now but now i'm going into flamingos i don't know I just yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all over. <laughs> where do they find the the gallery you mentioned that was in a gallery right um, yes there's a lot of my animal work is in legacy gallery which is out west okay um and ray's gallery rehs in new york city has um they have some of my animal things but more of my figurative kind of surrealistic work right you didn't bring yeah you didn't bring one of those today but but th this work is beautiful you have to have a lot of wall space though we're talking <laughs> like well as you know we don't yes have right. wall space at home. <laughs> this painting of Boris in fact I don't have a good spot to hang it I'm not selling it I just want to keep it's a it great painting thank you but I just kind of carry it around with me so yeah I don't have any place to hang it Bor so. Boris is a good looking guy you know? yeah. there he is okay. hi Boris how are you Where's David at? David is teaching a class in photography at Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. Oh, okay. And he'll be here tomorrow. In Philadelphia, and he'll be here in a little while. Okay. Time. I'm just showing people, like, when they first go to a LuxCon, what they experience. So I walked in the very beginning, and I just walked upstairs and just did a quick video. So uh, thanks for your time. I'm just going to keep walking around. Yeah. All right, guys. So check out Boris and Julie here. Thank you. And then we have Eric Valhagen. Wait, I didn't pronounce that correctly. <laughs> Eric is a great artist. I don't know if you're going to see the details here. But this one too. Oh, great. He's an amazing fantasy artist. He's going to traverse this way. Hey, Tim. We're doing videos now. Oh, so this, this is that Tom... Well, I don't know which artist this is. I think it's Marie... It's just some sculpting work, too. That's really great. She so, she doesn't know. She won't say yes to Oh, Forrest Rogers. This is unbelievable. Look at the detail. Wow. You no, know, I'm not a sculptor collector, but I'm telling you, I might be enticed. This is incredible. The details on this piece is amazing. Forrest Rogers, everyone. Incredible work. John Jude Palenkar. John Jude Palenkar is a very iconic fantasy artist. What kind of a future does that look like? Does that keep moving in this that is way? Greg Hillebrandt. You all know Greg from many comic illustrations. Superman, Star Wars, Magic the Gathering. He also collects puppets. Uh, so this is Donato and Cola. Donato has some great books, by the way. You gotta check these out. Hey, 
and this great DVD if you want to learn how to draw us the painting of Joan of Arc. This is that new piece called Empathy. Very, very beautiful. I love the uh, textures of the floor. It's kind of his personal work, says, you know, using robots in kind of uh, in different different ways, emotions. It's a massive piece here from the big Lord of the Green Sea. Uh oh. Yeah. For Raul, you want to say something? <laughs> what? You're on camera. <laughs> no, I'm just showing everybody that's on. This is Raul Vitali, magic artist, illustrator, and you know, fantasy artist. Oh, yeah. We're just showing everybody when they actually go to a LuxCon what to experience because. I don't know. I, I don't know if there's ever been a video of like when you walk in. No, no. So this is like a point of view walk in. So Raul, why should everybody? Uh, you're so tall. I have to like. Yeah. <laughs> Raul, why should people uh, come to LuxCon? Because it's cool, and there's so much great art here, and there's uh, chocolate. And chocolate? Yeah, chocolate. You're so. I don't have a costume on. Oh, Raul's giving away chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna get. Yeah. Excellent. And I'm here. Are you a collector or artist? I'm an artist. Oh, great. Are you the, sh the show tomorrow tonight? I'll be in the showcase. Tonight. Yeah, so guys, we're going to do a showcase video. Um, so yeah, so Jonathan, uh, what's your last name? Jonathan Ver Duncan. Ver Duncan, wow. That's uh, from the bear. Ver, Ver, Ver Duncan. Yeah. It, Say the full name or I'll get upset with you. Yeah, very upset. Yeah. But yeah, he'll be at the showcase show on Friday, tonight, and Saturday. So what's great about LuxCon is there's uh, three three shows, right? We uh, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is the main, the main show. show the and, the the yeah. and there's really no difference between the show and the bar and the because the guys in the showcase are just telling us that the day is digital and this show is more about it is. Raul, so you were one of the four uh, commissions, so let's uh, let's look at this piece. It's called the Swamp, the Swamp, or Swamp Shaman, Shaman. I don't know. Did they, so this is what they, so the commission is just, you can do whatever you want, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, the word dragon was ma mentioned. They mentioned dragon? Somebody mentioned yeah. dragon. Uh, you don't like doing dragons? Well, I, yeah, but I've done so many that... I'm getting tired of doing them now, you know, but... So what do you want to uh, I draw? I want to make money. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sell art. <laughs> That's what I want. You know, I want to have enough money to buy as much sausage and other things as I want to uh, sell. Well, that's an honest answer. He wants to make a living. It's an, it is a business. I, I, you know, I don't have any uh, uh, brand artistic vision that everyone needs to see, you know, I don't. But I love, like, I love, um, you know, my favorite job is my next job. Yeah. So that's yeah, an honest answer. I think what you're trying to say is you love... Painting's your first love, but obviously it's it's a business. You got to make a living off. Of. Yeah. I mean, even, even when I was making money off, so it's yeah. Um, but it's so great if you can make money off of it. And I've been fortunate enough to work with a lot of brands. People who give me the freedom, they work fine. Whatever happens, they'll hold me. All right, guys. Well, thanks, Raul. We'll talk soon. So Raul is, yeah, one of the other uh, very candid uh, approach to... Uh, and then you guys later, you just get a little... I like that. <laughs> Meaning he accepts <wants> donations. <laughs>
Yeah. All right, we'll keep walking around. Thanks, right. Roll. Oh, we'll, we'll be around. All right, so this room is over, I think. Yeah, this is a big room. Donato's busy, so we can't talk to Donato. He's over there, signing autographs. All right, so this room is more beautiful art. I'm gonna stream around a little bit more. It's an artist named Wang Hag. H-A-A-G, I think he's British. Beautiful. Jim Burns. Oh. What's that? I didn't see him all day. I know, is that weird? Jim Burns, British artist. Kelly Houghton. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Incredible work. And this is the ever oh awesome Bob Eagleton, master of all dragons. Hey Bob. Hey, how are you? Hey, good. We're just doing a video for people that never been to a LuxCon. The Bob Eagleton, everybody. Bob, great work, as usual. Come by, guys. If you guys have not seen Bob's work, you should check it out. At his website, bobingleton.com, right? Yes. Yep. Ingleton as an E G E G G E L T O N. L E. L E. Yeah. Out of date website, but don't worry. You can email him at. Follow me on Facebook. Facebook. There you go. Facebook. Beautiful work. I smell food, by the way. Oh yeah. And if, by the way, if you're here at the LuxCon, you can check out the uh, LuxCon Cafe where they have fine dining and everything. Meeting cafe food. I think it's like a bookstore. It's like a little. <laughs> they have like a little meeting going on. Here. Okay. Mr. John Harris. I think this artist is amazing. Incredible. Gosh, you guys like fantasy uh, yeah, landscapes. Wow. This is it. I really like this one. That's beautiful. This is uh, another landscape artist, Armand Cabrera. Last year he had a piece for the LuxCon commission. Excellent. 